James Calm began to bike. And we're down at Pumpkin Square Park. Looks like they've got a little festival going on down here. Let's take a look and see what's happening. Yeah, this is it. St. Mark's Place. An Avenue A. This is the heart of the East Village. Alan Ginsberg actually lived in 438 East 10th Street back in the 70s. This is the famous Howl Festival. Named after Allen Ginsberg, Allen Ginsberg's epic poem. This is where all the East Village Bohemians come down and celebrate their alienation and Bohemianness. We've got some artists that are actually creating their murals here on the street. Do you like to talk about what you're doing here? Do I like to talk about what I'm doing? Movie, Is that too right? distracting? Uh, you could ask me questions that I can try to ask you. Um, well, what are you working on? Do you have a title for this piece? Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, Rose McGowan from, um, from Grindhouse, the, uh, the, movie, the uh, Tarantino Rodriguez movie. Right. Did you ever see it? No, what's your name? David. Do you have a last name? David Green. Do you have a website? No, unfortunately I don't. David Green. Do you live here in the uh, East Village? Yes, I do. For uh, 20 years. I have, a, I have my artwork. The, uh, the other art around the park is from the previous years over here. Do you have a gallery that you work with? Not now, no. Any place we can see the work? Uh, <laughs> probably email me. Probably send you, David send you. Green. Artist, East Village. Okay. Thanks, David. You're welcome. Robert Petrick. All right, we're talking with Robert Petrick. You're also one of the artists down here. And this is your work. You started on this this morning? No, this afternoon. This afternoon. But it's a painting I've been thinking about for a long time. I just wanted to make it big. So you decided to come out here and do it at the HAL Festival? Yes. Do you have a title? Make a mistake. Oh, we're getting a lot of action here. We got action no, painting. It's going all the way on, on the sides here. I appreciate it. Come on. I'm trying to keep I'm not going to do it anymore. Don't hey, fuck with anybody's art, Nico. Or you deserve to get it. I mean, I don't have any more of that green paint, you know? I don't have any more of the green paint. So here we see the Brotherhood of Artists down here at the no East Village Howl Festival. What's your name, sir? Sir, do you have a, would you like to make a comment for the calm report? No. Nope, he's just going to work and paint. Okay. How about you? Revolution will be televised. It will be televised. It's being televised right now. Exactly. Do you have a name? Uh, Lee Wells. Lee Wells. Do you have a title for your piece? No. Not yet. Not until it's done. And you just started working on this this afternoon yes. as well? Yesterday. Yesterday. This is acrylic you're working with? I'm working with acrylic. All right, thanks, Lee. Yep. How about you, ma'am? No, not now, later. Not you. Okay, you're in the throes of inspiration here. Is this your piece right here with the assembly stuff on it? Are you Lisa Renko? No, no one knows. No one knows, okay. A lot of anonymous artists down here, people on the lamb. This, somebody's got a bicycle in there. That's interesting. We got some prints and looks like wrapping paper here. Oh, the nude with flaming boobs is always a popular subject. I like the Got a piece with Arabic writing in it. Would you like to comment for the calm report, sir? Just say what your name is and talk about your piece. My name is Bruno von Westphalen. Bruno von Westphalen? Yes. And this is called A Bowl of Goodness, A Bowl of Light. 
because that's all we need every day to treat our fellow citizens the proper way. Have you been involved in some of the other HAL Festival? Uh, I've been involved events? in everything. Everything. Every festival they've ever done. How do you like my work? I like it. Not only that, it's got some uh, great colors in there. This is going to look good on uh, YouTube. Good. Thanks, Bruno. My pleasure. All right, now we're talking with David Pullman. Hello. Uh, Tell us a little bit about your pieces. Well, these, these, these are all done in English. Did you actually and, uh, record with that too? Yeah. Yep. You know, I particularly you have voices with that. Yep. Yeah, I like I like the um, worm side view. The worm side view? Yeah, the worm because I think the, I think the worms actually have a good view of the world. I didn't think worms had eyes. How can they see anything? Well, they well some see worms do. You're imagining that worms had eyes. Okay. And, and if you were, and then you were looking. These are pictures. Pictures from the beach, or are you sneaking out in Thompson Square Park and looking at the sunbathers? No, these are all from uh, Sheep Meadow and Central Park. Sheep Meadow and Central Park. Yeah. Sounds great. Yeah, it does. And, and these are real life buttocks of the body parts. Thanks, David. Okay, we're talking with Elliot. What's your last name, Elliot? B A S S M A N. Bassman. Bassman. Elliot Bestman. Yes. He's a very shy and uh, retiring type of person here. And this is your piece right here. In Xanadu did Kubla Khan an ancient dome decree. Samuel Coleridge was a major influence on the great 20th century master, Dr. Allen Ginsberg. Everyone in this circus show here, from Kafka to Blake's to Keith. Kerouac on the road, hot cream, naked lunch, Burroughs and Shelley. They were the beat of New York. They were the, the beat, beat of New York. Yes, and you see... And the, the beat goes, goes on the beat with Elliot. Go. And you! <laughs> All right. Thanks, Elliot. Interesting piece here, very graphic and colorful. Yeah, you got like another artist here. Our philosophy. Look at that. Words and text. Would you like to make a comment? Um, this is my piece. It's copyrighted. And um, it's a process-based, time-based piece that involves community and interaction. What's your name? Laura Morganstern. And what I've done today and yesterday is as people pass by, I ask them to pose for a portrait. And while I paint them, if they could come up with their philosophy on life, and then we write it down and put it near their portrait so it becomes a document and a record of the Howell Festival and the shared philosophies that people have. That sounds great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Here's the famous Rick Kroll's piece. I wonder where Rick is today. Unfortunately, due to the real estate boom, Rick has lost his uh, East 6th Street studio. He's been a painter in the East Village for about the last 25 years. Uh, lady, uh, Fingers and she's got goggles on.